What is going on gamers, this is Gaming at its core, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you part 3 of the PS4 Share Factory tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to add transitions and filters. So let's start off by showing you how to add transitions. So on your timeline, while you're hovering over the clip, you press X and then you go ahead and click where it says add transitions. So I'm gonna click on that and then it gives you this whole selection and on the left hand side it has playlists of the transitions that are cinematic, dissolves and also wipes. So I'm going to be using cinematics for this video. So there's loads of transitions to choose from and if you go down there's even more. So for this video I'm going to be choosing this one. You can also click R2 while hovering over transition to actually preview. So I'm going to just preview that and it looks like a really good transition. I already know what all of these transitions do so since I'm going to be selecting this I'm going to press X to select it and that's now added. So that's like right there and that's even the two arrows in orange when you hover over and that's how you know that you got a transition in your video. So I'm going to be pressing R2 to preview the video and I'm going to show you the transition so that's the transition and it's moved on to the next clip so I really like this transition I think it works really well in the video it moves it works really smoothly so I'm going to make sure I keep that and not delete it. So for the last bit of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add filters. So I'm going to be putting a filter on this clip here. So I'm going to hover over it, press X, and then I'm going to go ahead and click where it says add effects. So I'm now on the page where it has all the effects which you can put on the video. So on the left hand side it has all the playlists here and this is basically the same for transitions. So it has all the playlists so you can add stickers, theme stickers, filters, layout, text, all that good stuff. So I'm going to show you how to add the filters. So here is all the selections that you can use for the filters. It might not seem like a lot but these filters are actually really cool. So I'm going to be using this red one here which is called colorize. So I'm going to press X to select it and as you can see the clip has now changed color to red so that's actually a pretty cool and very different change to how it was before so if you compare it to that it's a really big change because like, there's loads of colors in that because it's like red yellow green blue all that good stuff whereas in this it's just red and it's a good effect which you can put in a video and especially when you're making a montage so i really like how they've added this onto the editing software with the update that they had a while back Alright everyone, so that's the tutorial for today's video. I do hope you found it useful. Please smash that like button if you do enjoy. Comment video ideas, share would be appreciated, and please subscribe for when I next make a video on my channel. This is Gaming at its core, and until next time, I'll see you in the next video.